stick with me now because the order of doing things here on the channel is going to be slightly strange for the next little while as we kick off with Transformers Earthrise Wave 3. Yes, I haven't looked at Wave 2 yet, but we're going to dive into Wave 3 and we're going to kick things off with this guy, Sunstreaker, in the latest Got By True review. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is your host, your most humble host, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gapat. As always, man, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe, and while you're at it, light them up, baby. And hit that notification bell, please. It helps me out a ton let you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, The Everything Factor, Transformers, Collectors, and L. Autobot Family, Transformers vs. G.I. Joe vs. DC Universe vs. Marvel, and Autobot City Central, as well as all of my social media links, that mouthful, all of those links in the description down below. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. You can check us out on Patreon. You can see what we offer to you through Teespring. Or, of course, you can hit the join button right here on YouTube and become a channel member. And yes, indeed, this is the beginning of Wave 3 here on the channel with Sunstreaker. And I think that this version of him probably, arguably, best encapsulates the G1 look for the character. Is it perfect? No. It's very strong. And I think we might even be hard-pressed to get a better one. But that's not to say that everything here is ideal. So, without any further ado, how about we head over to the table and take a closer look at this guy. And yes, indeed, here we have the first of the Wave 3 Earthrise offerings that I'm looking at. This is Sunstreaker. It's so weird the way the distribution has gone. I was extremely concerned about his paint, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Before we get to his paint, we have to kick things off by looking at his packaging first. And here we have the packaging. It's your typical Earthrise packaging. We have a nice image of Sunstreaker over here. He's holding his, I don't know, his booster, I guess, as a blaster, um, okay, it's not quite right, but hey, whatever, doing the same thing here, uh, it's the images on the back, it's a box, it's all right. We got ourselves some nice Earthrise instructions, again, we have some stats here in Cybertronian, <sighs> If they seem to be on the main line, and that's it. I don't know. It's weird. But they're good instructions. They're bright. They're big. They're clear. I like them. And finally, we're at the robot, and let's talk about the elephant in the room, which is his paint apps first. And I'm going to say that, honestly, for, for Sunstreaker, this is generally pretty darn accurate, right down to the black on the very tips of his toes and the black on his shins, the yellow on the rest of the body, the black on his forearms, the yellow hands. The only thing we're really missing is there's some black on his shoulders and the shoulders here are a stark uh, yellow, but there is supposed to be a bit of black breakup up there. I'm going to say, honestly, it's a solid 9. I wanted to say 9.75 because the only thing missing is that. However, we got to talk about the mismatch of paint and plastic. In the daylight, to the naked eye, they match. At least they do on mine. However, under fluorescent lights or in the night, under like lamp light and whatnot, I do see the difference. It is the exact same sort of mismatch problem that we have with Titan's Return Bumblebee. I find it really odd since I don't notice any difference with hubcap. Maybe the yellows that were used for hubcap is the yellows that should have been used here, arguably. But it's a small gripe. I mean, yellow is a hard color to work with. Any customizer can tell you that, so I sort of forgive it. I'm going to say it's a 9 because it is highly accurate right down to the blue of the windows because his windows in the animation were always colored blue. So with the strong start of nine for his paint apps, what about the articulation? Well, the head, it can go left and right and kind of up and down. The arms, they can go all the way around. Out to the side, we have an elbow to 90 degrees, a bicep swivel. Nothing at the wrist, unfortunately, other than going in. Like, no, no swivel at the wrist. That would have been nice, not gonna lie. Uh, we do have a waist, which I think is quite nice. The arms can go that far out to the side. The hips can go out to the side that far. Uh, they can go back. The hips are really tight on this guy. And they can go well forward. We have a knee to uh, about 90 degrees, roughly. If it's not exactly 90 degrees, it's close enough on. Uh, we have a thigh swivel. It'd be nice if in here wasn't hollow. You could see the mushroom peg. It, there was no reason that I don't think that that couldn't have been filled in. We have an ankle tilt. 
make sure when you do the conversion stuff for this guy that you bring this heel spur down until it clicks. Trust me, it will help you in the future. He basically has everything I could want him to have other than a wrist rotation. So I'm going to say that his articulation overall is, it too is a solid, solid nine. So we're going to have a nine for the paint, a nine for articulation that takes us to the transformation. But before that, I just wanted to show him in comparison to the classic Sunstreaker. Look, I like the classic Sunstreaker and I've used him in Universal Collision. I looked at the classic Sunstreaker a long time ago, one of my absolute earliest at number eight. True review number eight was classic Sunstreaker. Ooh, baby, a long time ago. Um, and I even looked at the G1, or at least a KO of the G1, in episode 531. And the new Earthrise very much resembles the G1. So with some really strong scores of a 9 and a 9, the guy's getting a 9, let's get into the transformation. We begin by honestly bringing up the heel, and we'll bring up the toe, bring up the heel, and bring up the toe. And you can see the way that this is going to go for the legs. We're going to take this off of his back. It, you can put it in his hand. I guess I'll show this now. You can put it in his hand, but the way that it is, I don't know. Like, I guess you could do that. I wish he came with another accessory. It doesn't hold in there the most super duper secure, but it's all right. We take this and we turn the waist. We take down the chest and we can put the head in. We can take the arms here and bring them down on the side and bring them down on the side. The legs here, we kind of combine our wars them. So you want to get the roof section out of the way and we rotate the waist around. Do we rotate the whole thing around? I think we rotate the whole thing around. Um, yeah, yeah, we do. Okay, so, sorry about that. We combine our words leg up. Let's get these arms out of the way because I put them in prematurely. Combine our words leg up and combine our words leg up. And then once you got those up and in position, you should be able to put those together and then bring this down over and rotate everything at the waist. There we go. You want to make sure that you have the thighs perfect so that the roof section here will actually tab in because otherwise it's a nuisance. If the thighs aren't perfect, the like hood, the I guess roof won't will not tab in perfectly. And mine's being a little nuisance there now. You bring this down on the side, you bring this arm down on the side, you fold in the wrist, you fold in the wrist. You turn the arm so that the yellow is on the top. You fold in, you fold in, and they go in over. You take this piece, and again, it's the like thruster piece, so I guess it goes this way? I think it goes this way. And really, boom, in the end here, you have Sunstreaker in his vehicle mode. I just need to kind of solidify the front here a little bit. Now, this guy is... A pretty good looking alt mode. It's very true to Sunstreaker. Again, you can see the color mismatch. It is what it is. There's not much clearance, but if you do everything right, he rolls just fine. I love that the, I guess the wheels are colored in. I think that that's fantastic. Um, I, I dig him. Underneath, this is how he should look underneath, basically. Very wheel jacky. I do find the windshield here being like really in three sections. It's creative, but it is a little jarring, and I do find the sides slightly jarring. It's less so if you tab everything in just right. Then it's not so bad. Then when you look at this, at least this just looks like the dash, you know? Like I can get behind it, but everything does need to be lined up very perfect. Now I do find that. The, or I did find the first two or three times I transformed it, this was super hard to tab in. It has gotten easier after doing it a few times. So what can I say? Transform them a few times, it should get easier. I like the transformation. I'm going to say that the transformation overall is a 9.5. I really think it's a great transformation. It's easy, it's quick, but there's a lot of moving parts to keep it. Interesting. Overall, the guy's a 9.25. I think it's a great Sunstreaker. As a matter of fact, I think it might be a quintessential Sunstreaker. And here we are once again, and here he is. So first things first, the transformation is actually really neat. 
I do find that pegging in the hood can be a slight nuisance. Uh, it gets easier the more you do it, or at least it has on my copy. Um, I don't know if it will be easier on cordon or spin out. Maybe. I don't know. Possibly. Arguably. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, the yellow. The yellow is... In the daylight, it's a fine match. It's a perfect match in the daylight. But here on camera, and I don't know if it's showing up quite right now, but I know it certainly was during the review, this and his forearms do look to be brighter. It's the same issue that we have with Titans Return Bumblebee, as I've said before. I let it sort of pass because I know as a customizer how hard yellow is to work with. That being said, considering that hubcap matches like ideally, maybe that's the yellow that should have been used here. Eh? Eh? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, I like the guy. I think the articulation is quite good. My hips are a little tight. But otherwise, this is a really good sunstreaker. A little bit of black up here might be nice, but I could see how that might affect the look of the car mode. And you might not want to do that. Uh, I do think in car mode that the kind of triple-pieced, the tri-windshield, if you will, uh, that's a weird, it's a creative way to do it. If it pegs in well, it's okay because it looks like the dash showing through the windshield. If it doesn't quite peg in, then it just looks jarring. It really depends. I don't know, it's hard to say. My experience with the mold has been good, but I feel like if you have slight tolerances that are at a whack, that your experience with it is not going to be good. I don't know. Kind of beware, but go into it with a positive attitude, if that makes any sense. Let me know what you think about Sunstreaker. I appreciate you guys coming by. Give me some of your extremely valuable time. I do know how important it is to you. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate donate link. Check us out on Patreon. See what we offer to you through Teespring, or of course, hit the join button right here on YouTube. But while you're at it, hit the subscribe button, man. Stick around, have some fun with us. We do a lot of things around here. Don't forget that somehow, some way, each and every single day, man, you do make a difference. And I look forward, baby, to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either in the live streams on Thursday nights at the Stop Motion Premieres, or the old-fashioned way right here, inside the videos.